Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. In the figure given below, there is a sphere resting in a smooth V-shaped groove and subjected to a spring force. The spring is compressed to a length of 100 mm from its free length of 150 mm. If the stiffness of the spring is K equals 2 Newton per mm, determine the contact reactions at points L and M. Okay, let us try to understand this arrangement. Now, there is this sphere whose weight is 40 Newtons and there is this V groove onto which this sphere is resting. And then there is this small space into which we need to fit a spring. Now, the spring that we do have is um, having a natural length of 150 millimeters. That means when the spring is not pulled uh, or you can say when the spring is not compressed, its natural length is given to us as 150 millimeters. But the space over here is less. The space over here is only 100 millimeters. That means this 150 millimeter long spring will become a spring of 100 millimeters so that it will fit in properly over here. Okay. Or you can also say that we have tried to reduce the length of spring by an amount of 50. Okay. Originally it was 150 and after we fitted that spring, the change in length worked out as 50 millimeters. So this is going to be 50 millimeters and this way you can calculate the value of spring force FSP. It's going to be equal to K times of delta x so what is k k is 2 newton per millimeter this is k okay for every mm compression you need 2 newtons for 2 mm you need 4 newtons in that way for 50 mm you will need 100 newtons that's how you can calculate the value of spring force so the value of k is um, 2 multiplied by what 50 and this value shall work out as 100 newtons so in order to compress this spring we had to apply a force of 100 newtons this sphere in fact had to apply a force of 100 newtons in the upward direction okay but what to say the spring will not stay quiet it will retaliate okay and it will try to resist this by offering an equal amount of force in the downward direction onto the sphere so this is the force that i am drawing right now in the downward direction this is the force offered by the spring to this sphere in the downward direction and the magnitude of this force is how much 100 newtons now obviously this um, there is this weight acting weight of the sphere is um, 40 newtons so let me write this down and there is going to be this reaction over here okay something of this sort now the name of this reaction let me write this as rl all right rl and we're going to have a reaction over here also okay normal to this inclined surface and this is going to be what you call rm now both these reactions are going to have their horizontal as well as vertical components. So let us say right now that RL is going to have a vertical component in this direction. If this is 30, then this angle also has got to be 30. And if this is 60, then this angle over here, this one has also got to be 60 degrees. Okay, so RL is making an angle of 30 degree with this line. So cos component will fall along this line. So RL cos 30 and its horizontal component will be somewhere along this direction okay something of this sort r l sin 30 that's it now comes the turn of r m so r m will have a vertical component again in the upward direction this is going to be r m cos 60 and we have one more component towards the left hand side this is going to be r m sin 60 all right guys now that we've got all the forces worked out we'll now apply the very popular equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in x direction is equal to zero okay so, and when you do so you have this force okay positive right hand side direction and this force negative left hand side direction so r l sine 30 let me write this r l sine 30 minus r m sine 60 and all of this is equal to zero since everything is in equilibrium now guys what you can do is you can get the value of rl rl can be written as rm times of sine 60 over sine 30 and on putting this value in a calculator sine 60 by sine 30 is equal to root 3 times rm so this is going to be my first equation and i'm going to be using this equation somewhere because i need the value of rl as well as rm okay now we're gonna go ahead and try to apply this second equation of equilibrium summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero so what are the forces acting in the y direction so this is the y direction okay 
let us check out which forces are positive and which forces are negative so this force rl cos 30 and this force rm cos 30 cos 60 rather both of them are positive so rl cos 30 rl cos 30 plus rm cos 60 well 100 is in the downward direction so minus 100 40 is also in the downward direction minus 40 everything shall be equal to zero so what's next so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to be doing this substitution rl is equal to root 3 rm so in place of this rl i'll be writing root 3 rm root 3 times of rm cos 30 plus rm cos 60 is equal to how much 140 is 140 140 going towards this side will become positive well that's it and what i'm going to do right now i'm going to take this rm as common and i'm going to do this little calculation it's going to be equal to root 3 cos 30 plus cos 60 is equal to 140 and rm shall be equal to let me let me do this calculation first 140 divided by this much okay this much let me write this into a calculator it's going to be root 3 times of cos 30 plus cos 60 and it works out as uh, 2 all right so 140 divided by 2 so ultimately the value of rm works out as 7 0 newtons and what you need to do right now is you need to put this value of rm over here and you're gonna get the value of rl so rl shall work out as root 3 times of rm so root 3 let me write this root 3 times of rm rm is how much rm is 70 so it's it's gonna work out as 121.24 okay 121.24 that's it guys so guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit i'll see you again with a new problem until then it's a wrap this is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep learning.